We took our kids up to Napa and Sonoma wine country. I was a little nervous at first because it is wine country. It's for adults, but surprisingly, it was so much more family friendly than I thought. We spent a long weekend there and here is our four day itinerary highlighting where we stayed and what we did. We spent our first two nights at Indian Springs in the town of Calistoga. I absolutely love this resort. It's family friendly, it's beautiful, it has a modern bohemian vibe, and it's just so laid back and relaxing. The heart and center of this place is its mineral pools, which are fed by four on-site geothermal geysers. Indian Springs was just the perfect place for us to slow down, relax, and enjoy the simpler things in life. The next stop on our wine country weekend had us swapping our peaceful retreat for a safari adventure. But first, we did make a quick pit stop along the way. So we're currently walking around the petrified forest, checking out petrified trees. This petrified forest is also in Calistoga. The loop takes just about an hour. It does cost money to get in, but it does take you through some of the best petrified ancient redwood trees in the world. We finally made it to our last stop where we'd be glamping for the night at Safari West. This place gives you a full-on safari experience right in the middle of wine country. But before we settled into our tent for the night, it was time for our safari. The safari takes about three hours. The first part is a walking tour that takes you through the aviary and smaller enclosures. The rest of the safari is in an open-air vehicle that takes you all throughout the reserve's 400 acres. We saw giraffes, rhinos, wildebeest, zebras, just to name a few. This whole experience is just so fun, so unique, and the kids just absolutely adored it. Would you consider taking the kids to wine country? 